Ah, hello. Crafted Brewing here. I probably haven't given you a tutorial in like a year or so, but uh, I finally got my Tekkit server to work. I haven't been doing YouTube videos because I really haven't felt the need to. But I think it's working. I'm just going to check this and then I'll go on with the tutorial. I just want to make sure that the uh, my server is actually working because I know it's running commands and it's saying hello in the server. But it says errors and stuff, and I don't like that, so I don't really know if that's a, a problem or not. But I finally figured out how to set it up, mostly just because I used to run a Volt server a while ago, and I remember the code I had for that, and it's a little bit different than the Craft Bucket launcher server code. So, uh, yeah, so let's just go check this real quick, and then I'll get on with the tutorial. It should be working. Is it actually? What? What's happening? Oh. Nah, give it a man. I haven't gone on here. Oh. So if I'm right. Here, let's try this real quick. Just to see if it's working. Maybe it's not working. Maybe it's going to be real clear. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's working because I can place that block down. And before I ran, yeah, okay. So it's working. Let's stop the server. Okay, stopping it. Oh, brought up the mod pack again. Okay, so I am going to pretty much, yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to grab this and put it right there. And, uh, I'm going to delete this just so I can show you again. But, uh, first thing you want to do is make sure all your ports are open. If you're not port forwarded, you're going to go want to see if I have a U uh, tutorial on my YouTube. I think I do. Not too sure. If I don't, then uh, search up how to port forward, or if you get access to your router, so and so. If you're on a Mac and you use uh, Airport Extreme, you want to get port map, and uh, you want to set the port to 25565 with a. Uh, here, let me just look at this real quick. I don't think I can edit it. Oh, that sucks. But uh, if you have any problems with setting your server up, port forwarding, although you probably already know how to port forward, if you don't, then you should probably just go set up a normal Minecraft server first and uh, get to know the mods, plugins you can add into it. But uh, yeah, first thing you want to do is go to, you want to search up Technic. You're going to know what that is if you want to set up a server. So search up Technic. Click on the, the first link to Technic Platform, technicpack.net. Go to uh, Browse Mod Packs. Um, here, give me a minute. Um, <laughs> oh God, where are they? Uh, oh, here it is. Um, here, I just have to look for it. You're gonna want to scroll down. Really? Oh, there we go. Uh, you're gonna want to scroll down to Tekkit. Click on Tekka. You don't tech. You don't need Tekkit Classic. It's like older version, so. Last updated one week ago, whatever. It doesn't even matter. This one's better. Um, you want to download the server. I'm just gonna do all this because I'm not a. I'm not. Excuse my language. I'm not a cunt like those other YouTubers who are like, I've already done this. I'm actually gonna go through the entire thing to show you how to set it up. So just download the server. This is this takes up space on my computer. Remember how nice I am and how you should subscribe. And if you don't then I'm going to cry about it because I'm very helpful and I'm not like 12 years old anymore. I actually sound like I'm 20. I probably don't though because you know, but you never know. Ah, now we just wait for it to download. Ah. <sighs> do do do. Okay, so it's downloaded now. Do not complain about my background. Don't. I will murder your family. But, uh, 
you want to take this uh, I have it in it's in a zip form because my Safari settings has made it so it doesn't unzip it if it's not safe so it pretty much doesn't give me a folder but I think if you download it it should if it doesn't then it's just how it's supposed to be download then what you want to do double click it to open it up open it up so it gives you this you're gonna to want to go into this uh, we, you can just delete the launch dot back because you're not on a windows the launch just uh, the launch dot sh you're gonna to want to change to a command because that doesn't work on Mac like this so you want to change that to command then you're going to want to open the uh, text open it with text edit or whatever you want and this is what it's going to say this is what it's going to say. So I'm going to show you what I had on my Volt server. Uh, oh god. Okay, so this is what I had for my Volt server under the launch thing. Okay, sorry, mom came down. I'll, I'll uh, delete the part when my mom came down. That was like two minutes long. Um, but this is what I had for my Volt server. You can like edit this. So um, this is what it says. See, it says EXEC. On uh, here, I'll show you a normal server. This is what it says on the actual server for that. That's my Volt server. Yeah, I'll show you what it says on my Craft Bucket server. So my normal Minecraft server. Okay, what you don't want to do, I'm just going to tell you right now, don't don't think you know what you're doing because you probably don't. If you copy and paste this in with the, uh, the dot tech it, it's going to launch out the console. So like the normal default vanilla Minecraft, this. And it's going to load this up first, the tech it, and it's going to open this. So then that's trying to use 8 gigabytes. And it's going to end up crashing itself. So, yeah, but uh, you don't want to do that. So what you want to do is, this is the TechEd folder, remember, this is the server I downloaded. So open this, this is the window here. And what you're going to want to do, this is just going to be easier, I'll probably, I might even uh, just leave, uh, I'll put a description. I'll just put it in the description so you're forced to watch the entire video because I'm a cunt. But um, this is what it needs to look like, not this. So what you're going to want to do is change the volts.jar to techit.jar. And then you're just going to want to delete that. And then return, 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 return. Or whatever. Here, let me just do it. Like that. Launch.jar. So then now, in here, if I open this up, you don't need to see any of this anymore. But, uh... That's what it's set to now with the EXE at the start. So, next thing you're going to want to do is, I don't know if this will work, but I don't, it might crash because of some of the mods and I can't figure out what mods are glitched. But, uh, open it up, launch it up, it's going to start loading in everything. Now, what you notice is that the Minecraft server thing, it, when you do this, if you do it wrong, It'll launch up the Minecraft server halfway through this, which will then try to run it with four more gigabytes, and I have eight, so it doesn't even lag me because my computer's like, no, no, you can't run off this much RAM. So yeah, but um, what it's doing now is just downloading all the mods and stuff. So um, pretty much, we just uh wait for it to be done that, and then when it down when it creates the world. It sh might crash just because some mods in here, like I think it was the or Nether Ores mod that I glitched before, and I keep trying to delete that on here, but it keeps like regenerating. But I never, f I ne I didn't do it with this. When I generated the world, I did it with just the server, and the server is just a normal Minecraft server. It has nothing to do with the actual tech it. There, it's creating a world. See. It's generating a world, and it's not crashing. I like that now. That I, I, I figured this out. Because all the tutorials on YouTube, 
if you probably tried to find one, are so old, you can't even find one that's like up to date with the like the other ones. It's like one point two point six server, and this one oh yeah, not with the yeah one point two point six Tekkit version. This is one point two point nine. So this is like I don't know the re the most recent video is from like a year ago, right? See, it's done loading. So um, I'm gonna load up my ticket again. Um, let's just make sure it works. It should work, and the mod should be active. The good thing about this too is if uh, you could uh, well there aren't any servers with that version anymore but what you could do is you could join a server that's 1.6.4 no this is not even worth saying but I'm gonna say it anyways you could join a server 1.6.4 and have the mini map thing in the top left if you play tech it you don't don't if you don't know what this is don't try to do this just just don't don't make me go through the hassle of trying to teach you something when you have no idea how to even host a normal craft bucket plugins mod server I'm just saying mod because if you're a noob then you know you're not gonna know what I'm talking about. But uh yeah, uh it should be working now. It's okay. So um let me check, I'll I'll tell you in a second. <sighs> you have to wait a minute. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna be very angry if my microphone is quiet. I was testing it. I was like yelling into my. I was like talking normally like this into my mic. It doesn't pick up very loudly, but I turned it up all the way, so it should still pick up. It shouldn't be picking up from my computer because I tested that. I know where the mic is. I have a Mac. Macs are amazing. If you want a Windows, fine. Go get a Windows laptop and break your mic within the first year and complain about it. But yeah. Max are like invincible, man. They are not cheap. They are like, I don't even. I they're. I know they're not made out of metal. It's probably aluminum. I think it's aluminum that they're made out of. No, oh, we're just waiting. Loading. I think it's a hundred and nine mods it takes to load this up. But uh, if you want like more tutorials, just put it in the in the comments. Just say. I don't understand this and then make sure that you're on a lot because I watch YouTube a fair bit okay it's working or I don't know it should be working here let's see let's just make sure that it's loaded up with all the mods do 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 yeah that, that was really gay I'm sorry um yeah <laughs> oh god, it's so laggy. What's happening? Oh, I sp I spawned in oil. Are you? No, that's not cool. Wow. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's not recording my game sound. I turned that off just because in case our computer sound, just in case someone decided to like Skype me. Wow, that was like a one in a million chance. That was such a mean move. But uh, yeah, I know it's working now because that's in the mod. No, don't. <sighs> Yeah, I'm lagging a little bit because I'm recording, but because I'm lagging, my computer's also lagging because I'm running this, so in the background it's lagging too. So when you watch this video, this is going to be running very, very smoothly. But uh, yeah, so that is how you set up a TechIt server. Um, you probably have the launch thing covered for like forever now, the launch the launch command to launch the server up on a Mac but uh yeah so um but yeah make sure to subscribe peace out I'll see you later thank you for watching goodbye